Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome to another edition of the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the artist Fish, who was the first lead singer for Marillion uh, between the years of 1981 and 1988, I believe. First four albums of Marillion has Fish as their lead singer and lyric writer. And so, but what I'm talking about today is his long solo career so since 1988 up until 2020 when he released his final record he has had a ton of great solo records and so that's what i'm going to talk about today now to purchase any of fish's music he's basically remastering and repackaging all of his solo material and i think he's got almost everything done except for two solo albums um and so one of them is a 13th star, and I think the other one is, um, let me pull it up here on the website. Um, 13th star is not finished yet, and uh, Vigil in a Wilderness of Mirrors has not been done yet. And I think he's working on both of those to repackage and remaster those. Now, I've purchased every single other one that he has available uh, of his studio records I've purchased all of them. So I'm going to talk about my favorite ones today and uh, show you what kind of packaging you get because he really did a great job at remastering and repackaging all of these solo records. They all come with like three discs, uh, colored packaging, essays written on the, on the making of the album, what the songs are about, nice colored pictures, uh, the lyrics are in there. Uh, a couple of different deluxe packaging is available for a couple of the records. Um, so I'm going to dive into it and show you uh, what kind of uh, um, what kind of packaging you get on these records. But I'm going to talk about three my top three favorite Fish solo records up until this point. And so I'm going to start off with those, and then I'll talk about some of the other ones, which are good records and as well but these are my top three favorites that if you're going to go online and start looking at getting fish's um solo work these are the three that i would recommend starting with that's just my personal opinion again you can't go wrong with any of the records but these are my my favorite ones now my favorite this it's a close tie between this and his latest record i really like this uh album called Feast of Consequences. And this is a double deluxe book edition um, packaging in a slip case with a nice hardbound book. Um, this is a fantastic record. I've been listening to this nonstop for probably of almost uh, a month and a half, two months maybe. Uh, I started purchasing uh, his material, I think back in December of last year and started buying and I've made, I think, four different purchases, maybe, on his website. Um, and so this right here, this album, though, is is one of my favorites. You get a, a CD of the album, and you get a DVD in the back, which is a making of documentary, okay? And then you get this really nice, thick book that is all color, nice uh, color pages with an essay by Fish writing about the making of the record. And uh, a portion of this album are songs about World War I and about uh, his, his grandfather that had fought in the war and he actually went uh, to where the trenches were and uh, had these ideas as inspiration to write these songs on World War I. But he's also got you know a song in here um, called Perfume River. <laughs> Look at the artwork, pretty cool. Um, all nice color uh, pictures in here. Let me check out the artwork. So, just uh, I find that um, listening to this record, and you've got the lyrics in here, you've got nice pictures, and it really gives you a nice listening experience. Um, you know, just like if you get a nice album and it's got the slip cover, 
on the inside and it's got the lyric sheet and you know the artwork and everything this is that on steroids because it's a nice size and uh you've got all the nice artwork and the lyrics and the um the uh, essay on the making of the album plus you got the dvd and the the studio album um i really some of the songs on here that that, that i really like is perfume river highwood crucifix corner the gathering thistle alley the leaving all great fantastic songs and this has been uh in my cd player just non-stop i really i really like this record so um this is my top pick now what was interesting is when i ordered this they accidentally sent me uh the vinyl of this which i didn't initially order uh now i think uh Fesh, they, I think he actually sends these out of Scotland himself or, or has people help him send these out. Um, and they accidentally sent this to me. And so I sent them an email and I was like, hey, I got this by accident. I was so blown away by this that I was like, look, I'll keep it. I'll pay for it. Just go ahead and send me the other thing. Uh, charge me the difference between the two. And uh, he did that. And he was also nice enough uh, to send me a signed card um in the next shipment when he sent me this because they sent me the wrong um you know again they sent me the album instead of the cd set so um but when i got the 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 album i was so blown away by the 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 quality of the packaging i just said you know i'll keep it uh and then he sent me this card here signed by him and it says to, to Matthew thanks for understanding and help with this all the best tank care fish and he signed it and sent me this cool uh card which sits on my entertainment center so if he happens to watch this I thank him for sending sending this um now the mistake that I'm glad happened I'm, I'm glad that they sent this to me because um this is just a cool first of all it's my favorite fish record arguably I would say it, it comes in right with a dead heat with the latest one, Velschmerz, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But this right here, I opened this up and I was just like, oh, wow, this is just cool. Check out the, the artwork on this. I mean, that's just what makes uh, vinyl collecting and, and, and not just collecting, but listening to the music and with this format. To me, it was just what makes it so special is that you've got this cool gatefold cover and you got this cool artwork in there. And then, you know, the, the pressing of the record, very nice, clean pressing. Uh, I put it in my own plastic packaging here just to give it some extra protection. But it came in these nice cardboard sleeves with cool artwork drawings and all the lyrics. So again, you get a real cool listening experience um, with this. The packaging is just first rate. The pressing is first rate. And again, um, a lesson for the big record companies. Why can't you do anything good anymore? <laughs> uh, anyways, um, here's the other one. It's a double double LP. Cool artwork again you got the lyrics and all the information on there and uh, so I, I just wanted to show you guys that because again it was kind of an accident that I got this and then I'm glad I got it because I don't think there's any more left right now I don't know if he's getting more made or not but I'm glad that um, I'm glad that I got this sent to me by accident and so that is a feast of consequences fantastic record now Running a close second, and any I would say this is just as good of an album. It really is is fantastic, and it's probably his last album. Which I'm I'm sad that 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 this is going to be the last one. However, if you are going to go out on an album, this is going to be the last one. This is the way to go out because this is a fantastic record. This is uh, the deluxe edition, three discs, so you get two CDs. And you get a Blu-ray with 5.1 mix as well as a documentary on there. Um, 
and then you, there's a uh, behind the mask interview with uh, one of the, the illustrators uh, and talking about the videos that they made and, and, and all that. So there's kind of like two documentaries on here as well as the 5.1 mix. 5.1 mix is fantastic. Again, the packaging, check, check out the artwork on that. I mean, just so nicely done. Got your two CDs in the front, Blu-ray in the back, and check out the size of this book. And again, all nice colored pictures. Full essay on the making of. Some great songs on here. Um, the first song, The Grace of God, a great song. He tells the story about, you know, him being in the hospital, very sick, thinking he was even dying, and then seeing the condition of some of the other people around him and uh, that coming to his mind, therefore the grace of God go I. And he writes this, comes up with the lyrics for this this song. Um so again, first rate packaging. I mean, check that out. Um, some of the songs on here, are my favorite songs, I would say, Grace of God, um, Walking on Eggshells, I like, This Party's Over, I like, Rose of Damascus, I really dig that song. Uh, 15 minute song there. Again, you've got a mixture of kind of progressive rock, singer songwriter slash rock music. Um, a great variety of, of, uh, of sound on this record, but again, the lyrics, fantastic. He's one of the, my, my favorite lyric writers. And, um, I also like Garden of Remembrance on this. Um, I like the actual title track, the Velschmerz title track. Um, and again, the, uh, the packaging, a great sound quality, the 5.1 mix is absolutely fantastic on this. And this is, I think, probably one of the, this might be the only one that there are five, that's a 5.1 mix as far as I know um, on these records. So, um, fantastic. These are, these are my top two uh, favorite albums of his. And that's not saying that the other ones aren't good because they are. But if I was going to buy something, I, let's just say I didn't have any any of uh, Fish's solo material. These are the two that I would go online and I would I would get the deluxe versions of both of these. Well worth the money. Shipping is going to get you a little bit, but we don't have it as bad as the folks in the EU. They have to pay the VAT tax. So now a close second. I, I kind of rank both of these two together because they're both so good. This one is a, a, a close following behind and that's a sunsets on empire now all the rest of his solo uh music releases are going to be in these the, this regular cd size maybe a little um but these are all the ones that i've purchased here and um these also are very nicely done nice hard thick look how thick the the packaging is almost all of these come with three discs Usually a studio disc, demos, and live, or a combination of demos and live. So um, you got your disc in the front here, and then your two discs in the back. And again, they're all nicely made. The packaging is, is nice. I mean, check out the discs. Pretty cool. Um, and again, all look how thick the booklet is. Not chintzing out. Um, look at the, the packaging. Nice colored pictures. Again, full essay on the making of the record, what was going on at the time. So you can kick back, uh, drink your beer or your cocktail or other beverage, and uh, kick back and listen to the, to the music. And then you've got all this that you can read about the making of the music. Um, you've got lyrics for every song. So it really makes a nice listening experience 
And again, all nicely done. Nice packaging. So this right here would be my next ranked fish album would be this one, Sunsets on Empire. And I really like uh, Perception of Johnny Punter, Goldfish Clowns, Change of Heart, um, Sunsets on Empire, Say It With Flowers. This is just a, a great album. So I would rank that closely behind these other two. Now, the rest of these I haven't put in any, any order, but I just kind of wanted to show you the packaging, talk a little bit about some of my favorite songs on some of these. But again, the packaging on all of these are, are done the same. Um, three discs. This one's called Suits. And if you go to his website, it's called fishmusic.scot for Scotland. And that's where Fish is from and where he ships everything out of Scotland. So, again, packaging, be strategic on how you order the stuff. And if you're going to order, uh, you know, go there, order a few things so that make it worthwhile for the shipping. You know, pick up a few discs uh, at a time and uh you know save up and get so you can pay for the packaging and, and everything these are these are all running about 16 british pounds which is about i don't know 22 dollars us which is not bad price really for for three discs of music and and the packaging uh, again you get your three discs and you got full color packaging a full essay by fish you know talking about the making of the album and what was going on in his life at the time and what the songs are about. I mean, look at the, the colored pictures. Again, great value for your money. Great album here. Um, I really like Mr. 1470. I like the Emperor song, Fortunes of War, Pipeline, Jumpsuit City. This is a pretty good album too. Next, Fellini Days. Another good album. I really like the title track, nine minute title track called 3D. But again, you get your three discs, get your studio album, your demos, radio edits, and live music. Again, all nicely packaged, full color, essay, nice thick booklet, nice pictures. So again, really uh, well done. Um, this one is his cover album of covers. This is two discs, two CDs, and a DVD of a lot of the of a live show from that uh, from that concert and uh, from this particular tour that he did. Again, he uh, full essay on on what was going on during this time in his life and the the tour that they were on and what they did. Um, pretty cool. Um, the next one I got is a field of crows. Another three disc set again, full color booklet. Lyrics, essay making of the album. Good album there. This is probably my my fourth favorite. I like this this album a lot. Um, Rain Gods with Zippos. Pretty good album here. Again, you got three discs, studio album, um, uh, instrumental pre production tapes, and then live and bonus tracks. And again, same type of setup. Three discs, full color packaging essays on making of the album uh lyrics so again i can't i've had a great experience you know buying from him every time i've bought and and i've always got my shipment in the u.s within about two two weeks to three weeks they show up uh, and I haven't had any problem receiving anything from there in the U.S. So I've heard of uh, um, fish saying that people have had issues getting them in, in the U EU. And I think it's kind of a mess between the what's going on with the EU and all the, the retaliation that they're taking out on the U.K. for the Brexit thing. And then well, now we're going to charge you this. And I, So anyway, I'm not going to get into all the politics of that. It's kind of a mess. 
Um, and then the last one that I picked up was Farewell to Childhood. And this is a lot of live material that he did 2015 to 2016. It's two CDs and a bonus DVD of the full show. And he's doing some of his fish material from Misplaced Childhood album. And so again, uh, same type of, of packaging. Really nice color uh, pictures from uh, the concert essay on the tour. Uh, you know, I like uh, one thing I, I enjoy about Fish is the, the descriptive uh, accounts that he gives of what was going on in his life at the time and, uh, um, you know, what was going on when he was making the album, why he made the album, what the songs are about. This is the, uh, obviously a live album. He talks a lot about the tour. And um, if you go to his website, fishmusic.scott uh you'll find that he also does these fish on friday videos which i enjoy because he talks about you know his different experiences uh not just in music but what's going on in his life at the time right now you know what he's been spending his time doing he's walking around his house talking about you know just off the cuff things and it's pretty entertaining i like watching them um this i also bought from the website which is the val schmertz t-shirt and i also got a fish on friday shirt and that's when he does those fish on friday videos um where he just talks about various things you never know what he's going to talk about so um those are my recommendations um and again i recommend uh you know if you're um if you like progressive rock slash singer songwriter slash rock music you're gonna like uh these fish albums and again, if I uh, if I was going to just get into making my first order and I knew nothing about Fish's solo music, I would say do the Val Schmerz, which is his latest album, fantastic. Do the deluxe edition of that. Do the deluxe Feast of Consequences. And then I would say if you're going to get one of the other ones to try, the regular, the I would say get Sunsets. This is just the, uh, one heck of an album. So... Um, that's all I've got for this particular video. Again, go to fishmusic.scott and check out what he's got. Um, hopefully, he'll have this vigil in the wilderness of mirrors done pretty soon. And 13th Star, hopefully, he's going to have these out. I think he's supposed to even be doing vinyl on those. And uh, hopefully, he puts um, Feast back on vinyl. I don't know for those of you um, that want to be able to pick this up because this is just so well done. And I would really like to see him do all of his uh, solo records on vinyl. Now, I don't know if he'll do that. You know, the, the it's expensive now to do all this stuff. And then you got the whole shipping issue. And so it gets expensive for, for people to be able to afford to buy this stuff. And um, I had to save up and I bought them in like four orders, I think. So I buy like five of them and then I buy like, another three of them and then I buy some shirts and I buy this and so again thanks to fish for the card and thanks for sending me the uh, vinyl record by accident because I'm, I'm glad to have gotten that and because at the time I had no idea I was just buying um, you know I, I really had not heard any of his solo work except for you know going to YouTube and listening to a few songs and so I I saw this and I ordered it and, um, you know, I ordered the, the CD set and ended up getting this and I started listening to it and I was like, wow, you know, this is great. This is the, so well done. And, um, you know, I went back on there and, 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 uh, settled up and got the, uh, the CD set and, uh, started listening to it. And then I, I picked up the, the new one and then I started picking up the other ones, uh, a few at a time. I think maybe I bought six of them at a time, five of them, something like that. Anyway, uh, and I'm really happy with uh, the purchases. I'm happy with the quality uh, of what he's done. He's taken his time and he's just done a good job with the essays and the packaging. And it's 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 reasonably priced. Again, with the shipping, it makes it a little expensive. But uh, for us in the U.S., again, it's getting here in two to three weeks. Um, the shipping's not as terrible as what it is for the EU folks that the, the get the VAT taxes and things like that. So um, that's all I've got for this particular video. And uh, 
go to uh, fishmusic.scott and check out to see what he has. Go to the store and uh, happy shopping. See you next time.